another Grand Prix Legends race, again with the 55 mod, and uh, we are at the UK GPL round 4 at East London uh, racetrack. So let's get into some offline practice before the server is up and see how I can prepare for the race. I did some testing with the Gordini, which is considered the slowest car in the mod. And hopefully I can save some uh, tokens without sacrificing too many points in the standings. Because the car costs uh, zero tokens, so I can just uh, drive it without without uh, losing any tokens and then I'll have more for the next races. Hello guys, uh, Dimi, Yannick and John, thank you for showing up. <laughs> yeah, my my intro music in, is quite inspiring, but uh, it took me a while to find it and I really enjoy it. I'm glad you enjoyed it too. Okay, so let's see. I haven't streamed in a while, I hope everything is uh, correct with the settings. and the sound yeah this is the car and i think the server will be up in about uh, 10 or 15 minutes we'll see and by the way thank you john for the setup improvements i'm going to try them now for a few laps and see how it is Because all the testing I did was just one flying lap. I never did more than one. When I tried, I just spun around from braking too late. So I'm not prepared for the race at all. Yet. Yeah, yeah. Dimi as well. Because he's my teammate. He's subscribed automatically to all setups. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not that quick as well. Because, for example, Yannick is just flying. And some other people as well who, on other mods, I don't have that much trouble racing against. But here they are very quick. Yeah, yeah, let's see. I didn't test with the pressures, so I wonder if you found something for the race with more pressures. But uh, I have to test. It's difficult to judge without being consistent, and I'm not consistent with these cars because of the braking. Maybe once the brake goes red and I get used to the braking points, then I can focus on the driving more. Uh, okay, let's see. Of course, first I'm going to try the, qual the qualifying setup. And I was actually thinking of lowering the pressure further for qualifying. I wonder how it's going to work. 39.7, yeah, that's bad. I'm just going to be honest with you, Jimmy, that's just bad. <laughs> you need to go down to at least 38, I think. But but you need you need to warm the tires. From what John told me, the car is quick after 4-5 or five laps, not before that. Even with the red brakes, the grip just come, comes with the tires. Yeah, yeah, because I didn't expect with no brakes to be faster, John. But you said the car went quicker, so it must be the tires. Uh, okay, you said you said to change the, the gears, but I like my gears. I was hitting otherwise the ref limiter too early on exits. So I think I'm going to make a mix between the, the two. Let me see, 611. Okay, so one click, I guess. And second gear, because on the exit of the first part of the S's, I was already hitting. No, actually, no, the, the exit of the second part of the S's before the final corner, I was hitting the, the limiter right on the exit. Or maybe I was wheel spinning, I don't know. But I think I was uh, not too much no Jimmy you just don't practice enough I think if you practice enough you'll get the hang of it but it's not possible even for me with all the Grand Prix Legends experience it's not possible for me to just jump 
and be fast. I need a lot of laps to figure out every time on every race to figure out the track, the the car, everything. Okay, so not let's not waste time. Let's see. Tell me how is the sound? Ready? Mm, yeah, I think it's the opposite. With full fuel, you actually need. Or do you mean to save the engine? Because with full fuel, you'll be going slower to the corner, so the reds will drop even more. I don't know. Maybe for the race, we need the shorter view. Yeah, yeah, that's true as well. Lower refs start stabilize the car on braking. You have more engine braking, it seems. But not much of a difference, really. Okay, so let's try something with John Toby. Let's not uh, use the brakes for two warm up laps and then push and see how it is. I think with these cars, not just these cars, but these cars in particular, it's all about the exit. You cannot really carry too much speed on entry and hope to, to have a good exit. So it's all about preparing the exits for early, early drifting with the throttle as much as possible. Yeah, I guess I need to warm up the car, especially the front tires. So let's be a little bit aggressive. Maybe some Scandinavian flicks before the corners. <laughs> oh, I should be breaking here. Thank you, escape road. You know, a shorter course would help in the at the start as well because. At the moment, with this first gear, the reds completely drop. But I think even a single click uh, wouldn't help too much, so... Maybe it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to push on the next one. Let's see how it goes. At least this circuit you can go into the grass in many places and not hit anything. So I'm expecting this to happen a lot during the race. Especially if you have to avoid someone, you can just go to the grass. And try not to hit the objects there. <coughs> okay. Yeah, I'm trying not to use the brake at all, but it doesn't want to slow down. In the server, I may try lower pressures for qualifying to see if it makes a difference for a single lap. a good exit now. Not the best of exits, but it's fine. Now let's push. Hey Fred! Too early on the throttle. trying to save a little bit of brake here, so I can use it more later at the end of the lap. Mm, it's nothing too much. I didn't rotate enough, but still it snapped a little bit too much. 
Yeah, I need some break for the final corner. Ah, it's even look there. But okay. I just want to see the time despite the mistakes. Maybe I break too late. Maybe I warm the, the front tires too much and the rear's not enough. That's why it was snapping from like that. Let me check the chat. Okay. Let's see. I don't know at uh, what reps I'm changing up. I haven't blown an engine yet. Oh, 30... This is a personal best, so it's nice, it's nice. If I didn't make a mistake, it would have been 2 3 tenths faster. But uh, the snapping, I wonder if the front toe is too negative. It creates understeer and then it snaps, but it's easier to catch the slides. That's why I like the toe. When you lower, you have to turn the wheel more to catch the slides. Hey Dom, sorry, didn't see in the chat. Hello. Yeah, I actually think to lower the fifth, gear, the fourth gear uh, length, we don't reach the maximum anywhere. And okay, for 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 slipstream maybe it's necessary for the race, but for qualifying no. So let's try. Maybe, maybe this or this. What is the time, by the way? Okay, so one more attempt and I'm, then I'll go to the server. Or maybe I'll go now. Let's not uh, waste any more time. Oh no, I overwrote John's setup. Let's save it separately. Yeah, let's go to the server. Yeah, yeah, but it's going to be up any time, I think, now. Isn't it at uh, 45, if I'm not mistaken? I think so. I always forget. Hey, Donut! Yeah, let's uh, check. I wonder how we're going to survive, by the way, on this track with no brakes and having to brake for those hairpins to go very, very slow. If you just mess up a little bit, what can you do? Just go to the grass, maybe. Or if you see someone going to hit you, you have to go to the grass. Otherwise, I don't know. And we are, either, and the track is very uh, narrow, so if you are more cars next to one another, how is it going to work? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, the bathtubs, the bathtubs, and I'm with, with the biggest bathtub, by the way, or maybe the roundest, it's very, very, I'll show you from the external camera, it's very funny looking, oh, there it is, the server, uh, this is the one, works, and by the way, guys, uh, good luck for the race as well, to you, Dimi and John and Yannick, let's have a good one, okay, Gordini, Oh, I forgot to check the password. One moment.
No, I didn't lose weight. I just uh, shaved. <laughs> That's all. Uh, okay. Wait. Eh, oh, this is this is the privateers. Never mind. There it is. Ten. Okay. No, no. The same here as before. Okay, strange password, but I'll get it. I'll use it. I mean, okay, let's go. Oh, incorrect password. What is going on? Did I select the wrong server? Maybe. Maybe I selected the private years. Uh, let me try again. Now, there it is. At least we have a very long uh, qualifying session, so plenty of time to test stuff. And I'm going to try immediately on this uh, attempt with lower pressures. Especially for the rears. I think it's going to help. I wonder if I should try... Hmm. Can we take the chicane in second? But it's going to be such low refs, it's going to understeer like crazy. I'm going to stay with first. Just have to break and rotate enough. Maybe I can go a little bit uh, with the brake bias. Let's try 58. Even though I'm not using the brakes much to save them for the final corner, it's very important to have to not hit the red brake immediately there, otherwise. It's quite bad. Uh, let's lower this a little bit. Maybe like this. The race is in about 40 minutes. Uh, I think Dimi should be taking the same car. Oh, I don't see him. Is he on or is it too early for him? Yeah, I'm taking Equipe Gordini. This is the slowest car, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Just one moment. There it is, my light blue uh, bathtub. Oh, there is Dimi as well. Let's check his car. Did he take the same car? Yes, we're saving tokens because this one costs uh, zero. <laughs> yeah, it, it has only four speed gearbox, basically a bathtub with four wheels and a steering wheel as wide as the car, more or less. At least that's how it looks, like a bus steering wheel. Okay, let's focus now and try to have a good time so I can test for the race as well. But yeah, the start is going to be quite bad, check this out. It just drops the refs completely. And I don't have a coach pedal, so I cannot do anything. I just painted the bedroom that core. <laughs> you just need this bathtub as well in there and it's going to be perfect. I have a feeling the lower pressures are going to work on this track because it's mostly slow corners so it should work to give us more traction and grip without overheating the tires I think someone is coming behind so let's uh, let them through I 
and let's use our Richard Burns Rally experience to survive on the grass. Yeah, it's very important for the second part of chicane to rotate early, even over the curb, otherwise you just lose too much time. Okay, Evo Quaif joining us up. We had such a nice battle with him at Brands. Also, actually not Brands, at Hockenheim, but at Brands as well. But if he's with a faster car, he's probably going to be too quick. Okay, so let's do one more warm-up lap, lap and uh, then try to do a climb. <clears throat> But I need to warm the tires more. I'm just going straight and it's not helping. Maybe on this corner a little bit. At least the left uh, tires, they are more important. The problem to warming up the tires is you need to really go at a big angle. Otherwise you are far from the peak uh, slip angle of the tire. Let's not uh, use the brake too much though. Yeah, this is going to help, I think. To warm up the rears. Yeah, I think there is uh, information for this car online. I looked it up earlier a little bit. Okay, let's warm on the front as well. If someone is coming though. And I need a clear track, so let's start pushing now. But I need to break early for the final corner, so yeah, I'm going to get him through. Let's hope we don't catch him on the flying line. Oops. Well, I guess I just warm the tires a little bit more. <laughs> okay. It's time to, to do the flying lap. A bit white on entry. It didn't break very good there. Yeah, I wasn't sure how much brake to use. Evo in uh, first. Yeah, I'm not sure how much and how early to break to preserve the brakes all the way around the lap. I need to try different things. But let's check the time. Oh, just a 38. Maybe the tire pressures make a difference on the straights. Interesting.
Should I try higher then? I wonder. Is it that much of a difference? The, the lab felt good, I'm surprised. I'm going to try one more attempt, but just with one uh, warm-up lap, not two. No, no. No time penalty here, Fred. You can just go through the, the marshals and the crowds. No red screen and reset or anything like that. Lighting first now. A big gap. I think he is into the 36. And so much understeer here on entry. A bit on the grass. Did you see that texture there? Okay, 37.66. This was better. But I didn't like the balance. In the middle of the corner, it just didn't continue drifting enough. So I had to snap it and that hurt the acceleration a little bit. If I wouldn't have blown last corner, oh wow. Okay. So I guess for the race I'm going to go back to the previous uh, fourth gear length. Uh, let's check the pressures. Yeah, the tires are quite cold, especially the fronts. Hmm. Maybe we can try the opposite. Let's try with the higher uh, rear 
pressure and see what happens. Is it going to uh, slide around too much on throttle? Also, I'm going to go back to this and maybe, maybe a little bit, hmm, I'm not sure. But yeah, maybe a little bit of uh, positive tone. Also, I'm going to try the shorter second. Yeah, let's try. Let's try John's gears. If I somehow manage to take the first corner better to turn early and carry more speed and then drift around the inside, it's going to shave off at least uh, one tenth, maybe even more. But I'm really not sure about the braking. Where should I use the brakes uh, during the lap? Should I sacrifice this corner, for example, a little bit more and then have more for the next two braking zones? It's very difficult to just because it also depends how much you're pressing the brake, not just how long you brake. If you press it hard, it uh, eats up the brakes very fast. Evo again in first place. A little bit of a wheel spin there, but it was better, I think. Messed up this corner a little bit, too wide. But yeah, John is correct. The shorter first and second is better. Are better in, in all corners, it seems. I think I saved too much brake. But let's see. It was green just before the braking for the final corner. Okay, okay, Don, I hope you enjoy the last stream you watch. And thank you for making that stream my stream. Did I improve? Oh, yes, I improved by a massive margin. So I think the pressures make a big difference. And also, also the gears make a difference. Maybe with this car, you need to keep it in the high range because otherwise it drops uh, the torque. 
Hmm, very interesting. Or maybe I just caught uh, someone slipstream. I don't know. I wasn't close to anyone, but... The imaginary fort is race car. Needs gear change. Yeah, it depends. It depends on the car. For example, in the 65 mod, the Honda you need to change about 1.5. No, not 1.5, but maybe 500 to 1000. Otherwise, you're going to blow the engine. Actually, not just the engine, but you're not uh, gaining anything. The power just drops there. Wow, Clive in the van uh, wall, I think it was, is uh, crazy quick. Van der Vel, sorry. Very fast. Yeah, some cars seem to have a peak engine power much earlier than the maximum res. I don't know why. Okay, this was a very good time. I don't think I can improve much on it. And, and there is no point for just one position when we're going to have a very slow start anyway. It's a shame, by the way. Where are the rest of the people? I hope more people join. So, yeah, let's uh, save this. To not forget the time. And try to prepare for the race. Now, how much fuel did John put in his uh, setup? 42 liters. This, this seems too low to me. Especially the way I'm using the throttle and using more fuel. Okay, so he's using 248, just like I did, but at the front as well. I'm going to use uh, lower. Oh, he's using uh, less on the left side. Interesting. Hmm. I could try. I could try something like this. Keep the front slower and the left a little bit lower than the right. Also, I think this worked quite well to keep the rear more stable on the drifts. But it also created some understeer in the middle of the corner. On the initial acceleration. But it could help without brakes, because once you lose the brakes, you cannot control the rotation. You just uh, rotate like you're off throttle. So a little bit of toe at the rear would help keep the rear stable. So yeah, I'm going to keep that. Yeah, let's uh, fuel up and see. Let's put a little bit more. Yeah, you should join. I think you're going to enjoy this because it's very different from anything I've driven. You have to really play strategically with the brakes and not only that but in the championship you have to judge on which track to use which to uh, car and with the token system and also you have two worst result dropped so there are several layers to the championship which is making it more interesting uh, by the way what is Dimi doing oh he's with uh, 140 at the moment I hope he improves wow Eva went into the 35s. Amazing. Judging from these times, I don't have a chance for more than third, maybe. Even third is going to be dif difficult. Okay, so how many laps in the race? 26.
Yeah, I'm going to do maybe four or five laps to calculate the fuel. And also to see the balance of the car. <clears throat> How it's going to be. Now let's pretend this is the start of the race, so I'm going to use the brakes immediately for the first few corners. It will be so much easier with the uh, H-pattern gearbox, by the way, gear lever, because you can brake intensely for a second and go straight to first gear, for example. And it's going to help a lot here. I don't have one, so... Inevitably, I have to go through every gear. At least we only have a four speed gearbox, though. That helps a little bit. Oh yeah, I forgot to change four gear, by the way. I need to make it longer because of the very strong slipstream. Yeah, yeah, first gear is very long because I need it for the corners. Oh, Enrique Johnny. And the brakes are gone now. And this was not good. These hairpins are going to be so difficult. I need to break even earlier than this. At Brands Hatch, at least we have the uphills to slow us down, but here there is nothing to slow you down. And this car seems to have a very weak uh, engine braking. It's a smaller engine, or at least less powerful engine, so the engine braking is very, very weak. There is almost nothing there. Yeah, 
you see it's not stopping at all I'm trying to throw it into the corners but I'm losing the rear too much I don't know why No problem, Donald. I'm going to link you to some instructions on this code later. It's a little bit of a hassle to install everything correctly. But uh, there are instru uh, installation guides available. So. And you can always ask on the forum as well if there are any issues. Oh, stop, oh my god, how, how are you going to take this corner at all of the race? You know, I wonder if we need the longer port because I will be breaking much earlier than in qualifying. So maybe we don't need a longer port here. What's the point? Especially with slipstream, I need to break even earlier than this. Yeah, I need to make the entry of the hairpins with a little bit of an inside line, so I can prolong the braking zone. If I break, especially if I break too late. Maybe Dimi is right, I should keep a lower reps when I don't have brakes. Maybe it helps. With the high reps, he doesn't have any engine braking, it seems. Let's try. Let's delay the gear change down. Yeah, maybe it's better. I'm changing too fast. These hairpins are quite a big problem. Let's check uh, John's time. Oh, very close, very close. Nice, nice one, John. I'm not going to try any more the qualifying, just 10 minutes to go, but I need to figure out the fuel. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I did, I think, five laps almost. Okay, I see. It's not using that much fuel. Let me calculate. About 7 liters per 5 laps. Maybe 8, but let's try with uh, 7. Twenty-six. Okay. Yeah, actually, actually, John is correct. 42 liters should be more than enough, it seems. I hope we don't run out of fuel near the end. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a draft from my lap. 
Everyone was far ahead. But maybe I just got a little bit. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to go different on the pressures though. Maybe a little bit higher at the front. Yeah, I think once the tires are warm, I get more understeer. So I won't increase the toes, I think. Yeah, this was my previous four gear. I'm going to keep this one. Even with slipstream, it's it's enough for the race without the brakes. Uh, what about the pressures? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. It's not a big difference. 3 kil kilograms is nothing for this uh, heavy car. I think we're saving fuel because we are lifting up very early. So that's basically uh, lifting cost. That's why it's uh, using so... So little fuel. I'm going to risk with 42. Uh, let's see. Let's make this a little bit higher. And I think I'm going to ba go back to the uh, sym symmetric pressures. So maybe like this. Yeah, let's try like this. It may slide around too much, I'm not sure. But I'm going to try and try to adapt to the car. <clears throat> oh, Johnny, very close to Evo's time now. Just. Uh, 1900s okay myself and john the gap after this is quite big one second oh dimi managed to improve nice one dimi up to seventh with a 38 very nice oh john is trying again maybe with a race now race fuel is dimi driving i want to see there he is maybe he's testing for the race already as well <laughs> yeah, almost drowned in the bucket. Okay, Dimi didn't have a very good exit, but apart from that, it was a good lap, it seems. Yeah, he's definitely driving for the race now. 43. Or maybe that was his uh, warm-up lap, let's see. Oh no, too late. 
first corner is very tricky. Once you go too late on entry, you cannot catch the car. It just throws you off, similar to a Celtic first turn. Similar type of uh, uphill and then crest. Yeah, I'm going to do <coughs> a few more laps before the start. Maybe two, one lap or two laps. Because I don't feel ready for the race, especially on braking for the hairpins. I don't have a reference point. <coughs> and just like the previous races, I'm going to figure it out during the race. And I think for sure people behind me are going to overtake me at this time. <coughs> First gear is just too long and uh, it drops the reds too much. I need to do something like this to, to make the turn. Okay, John. Thank you. I'll keep it in mind. Yeah, the betting odds done will be maybe 1 to 20. Or 1 to 20, uh, how many laps do we have? 1 to 26. <laughs> No, I'm not sure about the pressures, guys. I'm not really sure. The car is too snappy now. <coughs> Can we slow down if we weave around to feel that speed? check something yeah maybe this is too much I'm going to try like this actually I'm going to try something it seems the inside tires are very cold let's try with two clicks difference because on this uh, sim, in Grand Legends, maybe because the way the tires are, 
you can gain more temperature if you increase the pressure. So I'm going to risk. I'm going to try higher on the inside. And whatever happens. <coughs> I don't know if it's a new meta because some of these people have uh, years of experience with the mod and probably know better, but I'm just experimenting. We'll see. I just want to finish and avoid big mistakes. Okay, let's begin. <clears throat> Thank you, thank you. I don't want to red with the coach again. Oh, incident behind. Shame. People should be more careful at the start. And John managed to get slipstream, I think, in front of the... In front of me from the car on the left. Yeah, I'm breaking a little bit early just in case. I could have uh, tried to overtake, but it's a little bit too risky with such a narrow road. Plus, I want to get close before the start finish straight, so I can preserve some brakes now. Still in the green. And then break a little bit later for the final corner, maybe. Donny is out. Ah, John is too quick. How is he so quick on throttle? He disappeared. Hmm. Very nice. I thought I had a good exit, but no. Okay. Yellow brakes, but they are almost red, so I have to break early now. Yeah, no chance. I break early and still it wasn't enough. Still a long way to go, anything is possible, let's see.
I think that's Dimmy behind, by the way. He just doesn't want to stop at all. I'm breaking so early and still it's not enough. It seems everyone else is breaking uh, later. I was hoping to battle with John, but he practiced more for the race, much more. I didn't do any practice almost. So he's very quick, at least for now. I have to rely on him making a mistake somewhere. Okay, so Fulvio in front and uh, Dimi behind, but Fulvio is 5 seconds now. Not yet. No, no, I'm not throttling. I don't know why it's slowing down so little. Of course I'm not throttling. I'm going to break even earlier now. He just doesn't want to, to lose speed at all, it's just rolling but at least I didn't uh, fly this time yeah, same thing here, everywhere is the same thing Okay, this was a better lap. Let's try to break in early enough for the final corner too. It's better to break early, too early even, than lose the line, it seems. Because the exit of the corner is much more important anyway. Yeah, this was a good lap. I think we're closing on Fulvio now. But uh, John is disappearing. I didn't see him this time at turn one. Thank you, Fred. Thank you. I already made a big mistake, but I'm still going. Oh no, another retirement. Slow, slow, slow. Doesn't want to slow at all. Okay, I noticed something. Once I have yellow brake before the hairpin, the first one, I have to really brake hard before they disappear again. That kills enough speed. Oh no, stupid button. Stupid button. It shifted down to neutral. And then too much torque once I shift it again to first. Ah. All the progress I made disappeared now. Yeah, I need to be careful with the button. Probably lost me around uh, two seconds. Oh, Dimmy stream is in the future. <laughs> While I'm racing in 2024, Dimmy is in 3024.
Yeah, there. I press this card as possible. So for a moment we have good brakes. To kill a little bit more speed. I really need to stop making mistakes though. If I want to catch full, full view eventually, and maybe even someone else. I cannot afford more mistakes than that. Too much time lost. So snappy by the way. Maybe Yeah, I lost two seconds. Now it's a seven seconds. Oh Phil is behind me. Give me drop back. Something happened to him. So yeah, maybe the high pressures are not helping. The car is too snappy the moment I told the photo in the slower corners. It's not terrible, but it's difficult to control. Gordini. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of got a good rhythm now going. If it wasn't for that gear shift mistake to neutral, it would have been quite nice. I need full views uh, slipstream. It's going to make a big difference, I think. Maybe even up to half a second per lap. Okay, I think this was my best lap so far. At least it felt like that. But the race is not very long, so not much time to to get a good, better result. Yeah, using the curb to heal a little bit more speed, even if it hurts my exit. Changing up to, down to first a little bit too early. Made the car very unstable. Opening the differential. So much understeer here. If I was at 5 seconds like before, I think the slipstream was very close, but now at 7 seconds, it's too far ahead. And Fulvio is not making any mistakes.
обязан на ту сторону. Every lamp I feel I'm closer to who will hear before the final corner, but that he disappears on the straight. I didn't pay attention to what car he is in, but probably a faster car. Oh, Dimi behind again. He dropped Master Kadanov. Oh, I see. I see it, Donna. So that's what happened. I guess Dimi was just uh, close to him behind. Or maybe you mean someone else behind Dimi. I don't know how many people are left in the race. I think Fulvio is pulling away though. Yeah, he seems to be pulling away. Which means even without the mistakes, maybe I had no chance to keep him behind anyway. Yeah, I need to take a very strange line in that corner to not go off. I can try to break even earlier, but it feels so, so early sometimes. Sometimes I have a little bit more break and suddenly the braking is too early. Oh no, Claudio is out as well. I don't see John at all. He must be much quicker than me. On most laps. He just disappeared into the distance. Yeah, the, gaps is, the gap is still 7 seconds, but... I have a feeling it's going to increase eventually. Okay, let's try a little bit earlier breaking.
Not bad. Little bit too fast. Using the curbs there to heal some speed. Oh, I think I managed to catch full view a little bit on this. But I used more brake. Now for the final corner, I have no brake at all. I need to brake early. Oh, it was already 6 seconds on the previous lap. Nice! We are actually catching him a little bit. I should use less brake on turn 1, so I can save it for the next corner. Maybe that was also my mistake so far. Okay, this was very good. Right on the limit before the car began to slide too much at the rear. Oh, too late, too late. But this was a little bit dangerous. Oh, five seconds now. I think this one was my best lap. At least it felt like that. Yeah, let's not use the brake here. Use the crest to slow the car. Yeah, I have more brake now. It was uh, half a second more longer brake intensity. If I had tested for the race at least maybe 20 laps, I would have known all this instead of discovering it during the race. Maybe next time I need to really focus on the race, not the qualifying. But I just find it boring to, to do race test laps. Especially while still working on the setup, it's kind of pointless. Another good lap, I think. Just a little bit more and we can benefit from the slipstream. But then I'll be extra careful on the brakes, the braking points. 
I need to recognize when we get the slipstream because sometimes you don't realize you're traveling quicker. Try not to use any brakes in this uh, combination as well. Which means I can brake for the final corner a little bit later as well. Just like on the first therapy. Four seconds now. Eleven laps to go. Not much time left. Those early mistakes and having to adapt to the to the car in the race really cost me too much time. Otherwise, I think I could have had a good result. But it's my fault. I underestimated how difficult it's going to be. A little bit wide there. Come on, slipstream, give me some advantage now. Okay, still 4 seconds, but I think this lap is uh, 3 seconds maybe. Under 4. A bit too late. Just on time. The brake uh, available is not the same every time, so sometimes it catches you by surprise. I miss this corner again. Very tricky corner. In any car, not just this one. There is someone ahead of Fulvio, but I doubt it's John. I would be surprised if it's him. Oh, still four seconds. Okay. I can't believe how consistent these guys are ahead of me. No mistakes. So consistent every lap. No, nothing to be gained, even when I don't make mistakes. Almost. I was thinking I'm braking too early. I lifted up the brakes just a little bit 
and it was too late, apparently. So difficult to judge. Oh, it is drawn. Okay, thank you. But I don't think I have enough laps to do anything about him. I'm barely catching full view as it is. Even when my my driving is uh, without mistakes, it's very little difference. If they were battling each other, it would be different, but they are not. Yeah, now I have more brake. Now I have more and braking a little bit early, but again, again. Hmm. It's very, very difficult to judge. I shouldn't be making these corrections when I think I'm braking too early. I lifted up the brake just a little bit. Thinking I broke break too early, but he didn't help. Just uh, habits from other types of cars. Are we getting some slipstream? It should be closed enough now. But I'm not sure how I'm going to overtake his faster on the straights. It must be the slipstream. It's not breaking enough. It's not slowing down. The the drag is reduced. Someone mentioned in Hockenheim, because of the slipstream, you cannot brake efficiently enough with these cars. Which means, as I'm closing in on him, it's getting more difficult to, to close the gap, despite the slipstream. Whatever I'm gaining with the slipstream, I'm losing it some on braking. Okay, six laps to go. I'm going to start braking for me this time. I lifted the brake just a little bit. It was a little bit too early.
but again I miss the apex. Yeah, the slipstream is definitely increasing my braking uh, distance, even when I brake on time. Oh, why did I change down to first? A bit, uh, losing focus there. Let's be careful not to hit him as well. Okay, five laps to go. have a butt line but uh, I'm not close enough I think I need to break early he is breaking later than me Yeah, I cannot risk hitting him or going off, I have to break him and just put pressure and hope he makes a bigger mistake. I think if it wasn't for my second mistake, I would have uh, maybe overtaken him by now and clo being close to John, but I don't know. It's difficult to overtake it seems. He is too quick on the, the accelerations out of the corners. I need to be somehow closer out of the final corner so I can attack on the first character. He is also able yeah, to break later for sure. Yeah, let's focus on getting closer to the into the final corner and have a better exit. He's very quick to this section though. I was thinking I'm gaining there, but no, that's maybe the, the only place he is much quicker. Okay, still a little bit low there. A, a little bit of full spin. Let's see. Wow, the slipstream is really insane when you're very close. Did he get scared there? He went into the grass, I heard the noise. A little bit naughty of me to attack on the inside, but I slowed down. I was making sure. 
I'm not going to hit them. But the slipstream was just so massive I had to take advantage. If I lift it up there... Oh, the car is terrible now on low fuel. And let's not forget he's going to get slipstream as well. I think he's going to overtake me. I need a very, very good first corner somehow. Yeah, it wasn't that. I think he carried a little bit too much speed on entry. No, I'm changing down too fast. Change down too fast and prolong my uh, braking. Maybe I should have stayed behind for the straight. But let's see. Let's not mess up the gear shifts. Oh, he... He oversteered. Yes. We managed to stay ahead. One more lap to go. Oof. Nice battle. I think I had the pace to battle with John without the mistakes, but... He deserved the place. He prepared, he tested earlier with race fuel. From what he told me, he was very quick with uh, race fuel. Doing 37s. I wonder what my best lap is. One of the, the laps behind for you. Plus maybe, once he had a gap over full wall, he was just taking it easy and not pushing, so... Even though it seemed my close on him, maybe it wasn't uh, an objective measurement of our pace. But yeah, the car became very, very difficult to, to handle with these pressures on a low fuel. Oh, I was just checking the fuel there. We have, I, I think, for enough fuel for maybe three more laps. So, more than enough. John, seven seconds. Okay. Oh, I'm happy. I think this is more or less the best I could do. from today's race without preparing for the race and despite all the mistakes it was good oh Fulvio bumping from behind maybe he was unhappy with my attack on uh, the second corner ah. thank you Don it wasn't interesting at the beginning but then chasing uh, Fulvio was made it quite interesting Let's see. Wow, check out the gap at the finish, guys. Amazing. 
let's uh, save the replay yeah let's me save the replay and then we can check afterwards Hey John, amazing pace, especially at the beginning. I made two big mistakes and then it took too much uh, time to recover the ground and to overtake Fulvio at the end. Yeah, yeah, I want to watch a little bit from of the battle. Let me check uh, the chat. And Dimi managing to beat a uh, few. Nice job. Wow. Evil, Evil did an amazing race. Four Gordinis, actually no, six Gordinis in this race. Yeah, it's my fault. I didn't prepare, so... So it's my fault. Eventually it took me, just like at Hockenheim, it took me the half of the race to, to get used to how to drive, where to brake. And even then I made some stupid mistakes. Okay, just waiting for the newspaper. But it was a nice uh, battle with Fulvio. I, I didn't think I could overtake, but then he made a mistake, which made it easier. Otherwise it would have been very difficult. Oh, you never went off at least once. Yeah, I was uh, talking about during the race. You you were too consistent. Fulvio as well, by the way. Both of you were so consistent. And even with my best laps, I wasn't making much of an impression. Oh, I was going to check the best laps. Uh, let me see. I think... With the uh, replay analyzer, I can do that. But do I have it installed? Hmm... No, I don't. Maybe next time if I don't forget. Or maybe actually we can wait uh, for the results to be uploaded for me. And there we can check. Okay, I'm going to go back to the game and watch the replay. Just a little bit to see the battle at the front. And maybe some other things. No, Dom, if you make the car, at least one person is going to drive it. You. <laughs> so it's not too bad. There it is. Dimi had a crap stuff. Was it him involved in some incident? Or maybe it wasn't him. Let's check the start. Where is it? Not this. Lap 15. No. Ah, there it is. Race. Okay. <coughs> Let's find a better camera. Let's see what happened behind. No, no, I think it's the same. I bogged down completely. It's just the car. 
I didn't want to press the clutch again to rev because it could blow the engine. So I just let it drop and stayed on the right side. Let's see, fuel in last it seems. Where is... Uh, or oh, maybe Donnie didn't start. He just uh, watched the start. Phil, Phil just waited for everyone to go and then he accelerated. Okay, so let's see. What is going on here? This is uh, Dimi. Oh, I see. Hugo steering into Claudio. Didn't he know he is there? He overtook uh, Dimi. This is me on the right side. This is John. Oh, John's car, by the way, is a little bit darker blue. Yeah, Fulvio should... Maybe he oversteered changing gear or something. And he took out Claudio. Shame. Shame for Claudio. Oh, he continued, but later I noticed he retired, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. Gimme and a few side by side. And John overtaking me on the outside as well. Oh, thank you, Gimme, for the rate. Nice uh, result for you. Managed to finish ahead of few. I'm just watching your battle at the start. Uh, but yeah, John made a very good overtake. Let's uh, check this out. I was thinking I can I can somehow hold him, but I braked early, just in case. And then I decided not to attack. Just to brake early, even though I had brakes. And then... When did I make that mistake? On the start of the second lap, yeah, in this corner. Uh, let's check the battle in front, by the way. That's what I wanted to, to see. Or maybe we can check the final few laps, not the whole race. Yeah, let's see the top four, what is going on. Yeah, nice one, Jimmy. You were even close to me after my mistakes, but then you dropped back, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, Hebda. Hebda in this Gordini would be unstoppable. Oh, what was this? Some kind of Scandinavian flick by Clive. Yeah, see? See how he... turns it around. Yeah, I think apart from the battle for first and my mistake and battle with uh, two of you later, there wasn't much going on. Let's uh, check. Is this the one I made the mistake? Yeah, this is the one. Oh no, it's not this one. But I still made a mistake and losing some time. Or maybe it was on the final corner. Oh yeah, it was on the final corner of the first lap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. So I'm already back now. Behind... Move you about five seconds. Okay, let's see. It seems the battle is only for first. The rest of the drivers are not that close anymore. Oh, John managing to keep up with Clive. Impressive stuff. Let's watch a little bit. I thought I had a chance for four, but once I lost the draft, it was over. Okay. 
So it was the slipstream keeping you up with uh, Clive. I see. Yeah, he's just disappearing off the slower corners, down the straights. Too much of a power differential. Yeah, I, I didn't see big mistakes. He just disappeared. And Fulvio as well, by the way. He only started making some little mistakes once I caught up with him and put some pressure, but... Otherwise, he was uh, very, very consistent as well. Did I already make the mistake? No. I think I'm going to make the mistake. Maybe on the next lap. Let's uh, check. Then I'm going to watch first and second battling. And at the end, I'm going to check the battle with Fulvio. Okay, still keeping up with them, but uh, when did I make that second mistake? Or maybe I already did it and I missed it. Hmm. Yeah, I think I already made the other mistake. Where it shifted to neutral and then lost the rear end. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to show you the battle. It was a nice battle. And I almost lost the position. He gained back the position and then made another mistake and I was through. And then he lost the car just as he was closing on me with the slipstream. Uh, let's check first and second, by the way. That's where the battle is. Between Johnny and Ivo. Let's see if they are get they get get closer to each other and uh, maybe some, have some attacks here and there. Okay, so Johnny is quicker in this section, but then maybe yeah, Evil's car is just flying on the straight. You shifted to neutral instead of second. Oh, I see. That's why Don said you made even worse start. That explains why you were overtaken by few and... Yeah, just few, I think. But few was starting class, so yeah. For him to overtake you, that explains it. Yeah, it seems the whole race, Johnny is just chasing uh, Evo, waiting for a mistake, but... He never made a big mistake, I guess. But let's watch until the end and see. Wow, Evo is sliding so much on the exits. Typical for him, there it is again. Breaking too late. Losing the rear a little bit. Oh, a little bit even in the grass there before the final corner but the power of the i don't know what car he took i forgot but he's uh, even more powerful than the mercedes is this the maserati maybe it is i'm not sure if he was able to break so much better than me yeah, I noticed some people braking better than me as well. I don't know. Maybe just the car. Oh, but he was in Gordini as well. Hmm, interesting. I don't know. How do you make the car brake more? No idea. I noticed uh, John was braking a little bit later as well. At least the impression I got. Okay, six laps to go, let's see, or seven laps. <clears throat> Johnny putting Kivo on so much pressure through the whole distance, but uh, Ivo managed to keep, keep it in front.
Who is this? Is it Phil? Yeah. Both of them lapping uh, Phil here. Phil on top, and there is Dimi ahead. Oh, even a little bit of mistake here. But uh, yeah, he's just pressing the throttle and immediately recovering. No chance for Johnny there to do anything about it. Unless uh, Evo makes a huge mistakes and goes off, no chance. Yeah, I think he has, and the other guys as well, they have a lot of experience with uh, this mod. Since it was released, they've driven it a lot more than we have. Okay, two laps to go. Let's uh, watch the final lap without uh, fast forward. Oh my god, Evo almost losing it there. Wow. Wow, amazing, amazing catch. Basically, I made the same mistake, but I didn't uh, let the car slide that much and catch it. I just uh, went into the grass. I didn't dare to try that, what he did. Oh, Johnny trying for an overtake. No, no chance there. It's too narrow. <coughs> Evo is basically opposite lock everywhere, all the time. Check this out. Who opposite lock? <laughs> Maybe these cars really fit his driving style. And the final lap now. Let's watch for Johnny's uh, car. Yeah, yeah. I know that I've seen some footage of old races from the 50s. Maybe not all the time, but uh, they were drifting a lot. Four wheel drifts. I don't think uh, drifting that much was the, the fastest way, but it was possible. Johnny making a mistake there. I think he was much closer otherwise. He could have attacked out of this corner maybe. But he lost uh, half a second at least. Maybe even more. Oh, he's trying to threaten Evo there. Evo losing the rear a little bit. Very good exit from Johnny, but uh, it's over. Nice, nice battle. The whole distance, they were like this. Okay, let me check the battle with uh, full view. Yeah, yeah, amazing battle. Even, even in my best races, you rarely get to battle like that. Sometimes we had with Dimi in UK GTL such battles, but it doesn't happen often to go from start to finish one second or less all the way. Without mistakes, without overtakes, just uh, chasing and, and threatening. 
Okay, I think it's getting close now. On the next lap, I guess. Let's watch from the outside camera. So Donald can enjoy the bathtub as well. Yeah, here I decided to break early and not attack. It was too risky. Yeah, here he will spin a little bit so I was close again. But now he managed to pull away, I think, in this uh, combination here. And out of the final call. So I lost a little bit of ground. But now out of the first corner, I think he had uh, a bad exit or something. Or maybe it wasn't this lap. Yeah, it was another lap. Maybe the next one. Here I was protecting him, breaking early into the chicane. And now trying to get a better exit so I can get closer. But he was very quick to that, through those two corners before the final corner. Yeah, now, I, now I'm closer and let's see. And here is where I got a little bit uh, naughty, because for this corner to attack in the last moment, but I did lift up, I didn't actually attack. But he didn't know, because I went into his uh, blind zone, so he didn't know. That was my strategy, to, to scare him a little bit. And because the road is so narrow, he opened just a little bit the line and went into the grass. Oh, I am already ahead. Okay. I had to slow down, otherwise I would have uh, drifted into him. If he kept it on the road. Okay, but now he's going to overtake me again. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Kiki was a racing. Okay, where did I make a mistake? And he was true. Again, very quick in these two corners. Did I make a mistake here? Maybe now. No, it wasn't. I don't remember where I messed up. Maybe on this corner. Yeah, yeah, it was this one. It was this. Unlike Evil, who just threw the car at a big angle and managed to stop it going too close to the edge of the road, I just let it slow down. And then had to turn the wheel so much to make the, the edge of the road. And this is with uh, two laps to go. I think now he makes a mistake, yeah. I anticipated, once he went into the grass, I anticipated he's going to drift white. Even if he slows down, it's inevitable. So I slowed down and waited for the gap here. And managed to, to go through. And that was it. 
Now I just needed a good uh, exit from these corners before the final lap. He went a little bit early and this cost him. Oh yeah, he made a mistake. He went too early and uh, turned the wheel too much and then snapped. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's all about the exits. Even with a slower car, it helps a lot. Okay, guys, nice, nice race. I'm happy. Let's check the results on the website before I stop. There we are. Evo winning, starting from pole, but the fastest laps goes to Johnny. And let's check our fastest. 38. Oh, I didn't even go to 37s. John with a 38.5. Fulvio 38.8. Dimi 39.4. So all of us within one second on our best laps. Clive 37, 36. So yeah, no chance, no chance to beat life for Ford. So the best possible was uh, John's uh, sixth place, uh, fifth place. Sorry. This is my favorite circuit championship. You do. Okay, Don. Nice to hear. Gorbini D16, the 2024 model of the 55 car. A big jump half a more than half a decade later a century later finally a new gordini <laughs> release uh let's check the championship point by the way the standings okay still leading but now suddenly evo much closer with his win johnny in third place in the team standings, we are just one point in, fr in front of uh, Soji Bottom Racing. Uh, let me check something. Enrique and Clive. Oh, I see why. I see. Yeah, it's going to be difficult because uh, they are very consistent. And Dimi had issues missing one race and retiring on the other, I think. Otherwise, we would have had a very healthy lead. But considering the two worst drop results, it's not bad for now. It's good. Uh, what about the tokens? Let's see. 15 tokens, so I have 25 tokens. I can take any car for Indianapolis 500. Not 500, Indianapolis, the oval circuit. That's where we're going uh, next. But uh, I need to test. Do we really need a powerful car? Or do we need a well handling car for the corners? Probably the latter. So maybe one of these two cars. Or maybe the Ferrari. So maybe one of these three cars. Uh, which is the next race? Roy Heskett. Mm, I don't know this one, I think. I don't remember racing this circuit. Yeah, oval. Or maybe for fun we can take the fastest car, which is uh, with the full body. Not looking like a backed up. But I don't know if we should uh, waste the tokens. We need to test. Uh, when is the race, by the way? Let's check. 17th of March, so two weeks again. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to stop here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Unfortunately, I made those two mistakes, which mean, meant I had to drive alone for 
half of the race or more, actually more. But at least at the end we had a nice battle and the chase itself was also interesting. Catching a little bit, catching, catching. And qualifying was also good. I really didn't expect to do such a good time. But I need to prepare better for the race. Uh, see you next time, by the way. I don't know when I'm going to stream. Maybe some RBR during the week, but I have no promises. Depends on if I have uh, enough energy and if I'm available to do some rallying. If not, I'm going to see you again for the next uh, race at Indianapolis. I hope you have a great uh, week next week. And if you have any races, good luck in those races as well. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.